Hello, meow. Meow. And welcome back to the channel. I'm Shift. And I'm Electro. And we are Shift Bro. Whoa. Yay. Today, we're doing something so much different from usual. And I've been like super excited to do this for the longest time. I just never had the time to do it. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been wanting you to do it for ages too, because I wanted you to draw in Steven Universe style. Mm -hmm. And yeah, <laughs> you did a couple of pictures back a couple of years ago when yeah. we first started watching Steven Universe in this style. And then when we did our OCs instead of just fan fusions, you were like, I'm going to make this extra. Yes, because I can't help myself. I try, like, I started off in this style, then I'd add stuff and add stuff and add stuff, and then it just, like, looks nothing like Steven Universe by the end. Yeah. And then when you put them all in a group, they were just so mismatched and, like, so many different styles and stuff would just look terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're just starting off. We're doing the style challenge, by the way, if you didn't read the thumbnail. So we just did three our style and then three other styles. Mm -hmm. because it's also part of a contest on Amino, which you guys should go check out. There'll be links in the description. Uh, it's a great place if you're just starting out with art. There's heaps of people to inspire you and competitions and stuff like that. It's great. It's fantastic. Go check it out. Uh, so yeah, so the first one is just our style. And I only really had time to do a face, but I wanted the face to be like interesting and stuff. Mm -hmm. Didn't want it to be like a, just a generic normal face with hair and stuff. Yeah, and the way I chose the colors is I chose the blue for the last picture in this thing. Yeah. I chose the skin color because that's what I've been doing for skin color for you lately. Mm -hmm. And I chose the eye color because the haircut reminded me of our cat's OC. Yeah, because we like to draw our cats as characters. Yeah, and, <laughs> and he's got like a really layered bob. Yeah, and he's got like a streak in his fringe and stuff like that. It's super cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so that's just it. Uh, we'll come back with the next style. I hope you enjoy it. And now we're here for the second style, and this one is inspired by Studio Ghibli. Yep, and most importantly, it's Howl's Moving Castle. Yes. Mostly. Yes. Because that was my second favorite, and then it became my first favorite the more I watched it. Yes, like, oh my. The music in Howl's Moving Castle just makes me so, like, feely, touchy and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god. It hits you in the feels. I know. And with this picture as well, where the, oh, okay. So the last style picture that I did with the end one was my favorite when I drew it, but after coloring and shading, this one has become my favorite. Yeah. Like every time I look at it, I just get so freaking happy looking at it. I'm like, it looks legit. I'm like, this actually looks like a character. And I just get the feels. Well, I really wanted to put black hair just because of this character. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, the last character it all has to be blue. It just has to be. <laughs> yes, well, I'm glad you did blue, because the purple and the blue together look just so nice. I really like how the colors of this character turned out. And, oh my god, I just can't get over it. Every time I see it, I'm just, like, smiling so much. It's just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I found with the, the Studio Ghibli style, they have very, like, floaty hair. Yeah, like, it's like someone turned off the gravity just so slightly so they could just look extra magical girl. But, like, not only that as well, like, the hair... They animate the hair to give the character more emotion. Like, when they're angry, it, like, gets super pointy and stuff. Yeah. And then when they're happy, it's all, like, floaty and soft. It's, like, like, carefree. <laughs> yeah. So it's, like, not only do they animate with the faces 
to like do expressions they use the hair to use expressions as well so mm. i was when i was noticing that i'm like that's really cool no wonder why each character seems like so much personality because the hair is also telling you an expression mm. and so yeah so with this one i just did a lot softer line like more curved and softer just to give it that floaty look and with the colors i did the same thing yes <laughs> same colors for all of them <laughs> <laughs> and then just like the jewelry like we had like the stretcher earring in the first picture mm. but in this one i did more like of like a dangly earring because of how he had like the dangling green he kind of had like a dangling earring but it was kind of looking like a batoran in a sense yeah 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 and then also batoran yeah. i think it's batoran yeah but and also in the movie they had like they went over the top with all the jewelry and gems and stuff. So I was like, all right, I'll do something a little bit more fancy for this one instead of just a stretch off. Yeah. Yeah. And then the shading was, I had fun doing the shading. I'm like, instead of sitting there burning and dodging, it was just like a simple, nice shading, but it's super effective. I really I love it. I think the shading actually sends you into the world just a little bit more yes. because it's not your usual glitter sparkle magic. <laughs> Yeah, it was just nice and clean, and I really love the look of it. Hmm. Now this one, okay, okay, like this is based on Ah oh My Goddess, which is like an anime series plus a movie back from like a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it when I was young, okay. But this like movie itself like got me really into anime. Like yeah. it was the one of the first ones that I actually watched, and I love it. My hair, the way I draw hair, is actually inspired by this style. Like, the, with the lines and stuff like that. You're not a fan of it. <laughs> You're like, just do it last because you put all the details in. And I'm like, oh, but I just love it because it reminds me of Oh My Goddess. Yeah. And the way they draw the hair and stuff like that, it just seems so magical and detailed and stuff from when I was a kid. Mm. So that's why I love it so much. Yeah. I didn't really watch it at all. I didn't know it existed until you introduced me to it. Mm -hmm. And I think I watched the whole thing but i forget it every single time so it's like every couple of years i just rewatch it like ah oh, like the characters are gods or goddesses and training and stuff like that and they have like these cool outfits and then they have like these uh guardian angels that pop out of their back but the way they've drawn and animated oh my god for back then it was just like so amazing because i've never seen anything like it and then the way the hair was styled because it wasn't styled like normal generic anime hairstyles they had like these cool flourishes and stuff like that it was just amazing <laughs> like oh my god i'm obsessed like i was so obsessed i learned to play the piano learned to read piano music just so i could play morgan's theme which is a character from the movie wow <laughs> and then i learned to play tuzanikin from art fantasy <laughs> i get obsessed with some things and then i learned because the music to me is like one of the biggest parts to like everything if the music's great i'm more than likely gonna enjoy it mm. And yeah, so this style, like, it's still very anime style, but it's very distinct to me. Yeah. And like, with the patterns on the horns and stuff, because the gods all have like these weird, like, square or hexagon shapes on their cheeks and stuff, I don't really, I don't remember why they have those, but they all have them, all the gods. So I did that on his cheeks, and then I did the same pattern in the horns and stuff to try and like tie it more into each other and fit the style. Mm, it looks good. And I found out that all of those um, things on the cheeks are always like a blue tinge. Yes, they're so, always the same colour. Yeah, so I did it that kind of colour. And the colour was weird. It was in between royal blue and sky blue. It was like a denim blue. Yeah. Yeah, it's just weird colour. <laughs> they just cut out <laughs> denim patches and stuck them on my face. It was <laughs> the <fancy>. 80s. 
<laughs> and then of course as you can see the earrings are like more over the top because Belle Dandy which is the main character has like the most over the top earrings you'll ever see in an anime like well holy you didn't Lord. originally put earrings on most of the characters you forgot about I them forgot. and I was like I'm pretty sure she's got earrings and I googled it and I'm like she's got like an a hundred earrings on each ear. Yeah, she has like this hoop <laughs> earring with all these dangly bits and then chains and clamps and stuff. And like, I did not even pay attention that she had that much going on. Well, she does have like enormous hair. Yeah. <laughs> like that, and then the fringe has got like all these like spiky things. Like, okay, you guys gotta just check it out. It's amazing. It's got some of the best like fabric drawings ever. <laughs> and I feel like with the shading, you did it more angular. Yeah, like they. Okay, so with Studio Ghibli, they only did like low lights. They don't really do highlights. Yeah. This one, they do low lights on the skin, and then like very jagged low lights on the hair with jagged highlights. Just like, but it's very minimum. Mm. So it does look really effective when you see it. Like it just pops out. And then the skin was like the neck on the skin neck was a bit darker than usual as well. So I made yeah. that a little bit darker compared to the face. And that's pretty much it for this one. Mm. And then of course we did Disney! Woo! <laughs> well we did Studio Ghibli, so of course we had to do Disney, because like, you know, Disney. They're, they're the same Disney. thing. I'm pretty sure Disney does like the voice acting for Studio Ghibli movies in Western. Yeah. Like, because I think they had like Miley Cyrus's sister or something like that voice Ponyo, and like one of the Jonas Brothers siblings voiced the kid from that and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so... We did Disney, like, we were gonna turn it into a female because I feel like Disney's more recognisable style for the female characters more than the male characters. Yeah. Like, because, you know, the Disney princesses are everywhere, they have, like, this unique look to them, and you can instantly tell that it's a Disney princess when you look at it. Yeah, and it's kind of like the male characters aren't as pronounced. Yeah. They're not as, uh, I don't feel like their features are as big. Yeah, like, they all very similar in face shape and stuff like that, because they were pretty much, like, it was more about the princesses and their journey to become where they were, more mm. than it was the princes. Yeah, exactly. So, the princes were kind of there in the background, but when I looked up Disney, uh, like, reference sheets, I found this whole thing on Flynn Rider, where it was, like, all sketched out and stuff, and it had, like, all of these facial expressions and stuff like that. Mm. So, I kind of used him as, like, the inspiration for how I'd go about drawing this style. Yeah, and this picture reminded me straight away of one of my favorite Disney characters. Um, what's his name? Hades. Hades, yeah. And it kind of reminded me the way he was smiling of Gaston. Mm -hmm. So it's like a fusion in between Gaston and Hades. Hades, yeah. Well, that's mm. the thing, like, because I was looking at the reference sheets, I was like looking at their faces and like how they draw the chins, and they always have like their chins stick out from like the rest of the face so it's like more pronounced mm. and then like with the eyes the way they draw them is very like triangular and so it was like a very weird style like when you know, I first looked at it I'm like oh, okay this looks very similar to like an anime kind of thing mm. but then when you actually get down to it they pronounce different features a lot more in Disney like in anime their chins just seem to be a lot smaller but in Disney they make the male chins huge mm. like oh my god they're huge <laughs> But I think that's what helps make the characters more uh, animated, just by drawing, like, accentuating the opposites. Yeah. And so, yeah, so, I, when I first did this, I loved it, because, like, he's so expressionate and stuff like that. Uh, but then when it came to the colour and shading, like, they have very basic shading for their characters. Most of them don't actually have shading. Like, Eric from The Little Mermaid, I found, has no shading whatsoever. And I'm like, mm. what?! <laughs> And this is why I also did blue hair, because I was like, Hades, blue hair, has to have blue hair, <laughs> so... Yeah, and yeah. then like, from what I did see, uh, the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, when he turned back into his human form, he had very slight shading and it was just blurred. Yeah. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to... Like and subscribe. And hit the bell notification button to keep updated on all our videos. Woo! Bye meow! Meow. Yeah.